Then one of the relatives of this 18-year-old youth came to the imam of the masjid and he said, Shaykh, I have to tell you something. I have to be honest with you. This man never used to pray the five daily prayers at all. So do whatever you want to do. The Shaykh said, I had to call one of the great scholars. He called, as far as I remember, Shaykh ibn Uthameen before he died, rahimahullah. Shaykh ibn Uthameen told him if he didn't pray at all, don't wash him. Don't let the Muslims pray on him. Don't bury him with the Muslim. Just take him to any deserted area and bury him there. And that was the ruling and this is what they did. It's not a joke. The Prophet is saying, Man tarakaha faqad kafar. Whoever leaves it, he's no longer a Muslim. He's a disbeliever. Now, we come to some of the solutions. One of them is that you turn to Allah Azza wa And you ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sincerely that He helps you pray these five daily prayers. And if you find it difficult, cry to Allah Azza wa as some of the ulama say, that when you ask Allah, be like a child. If he doesn't give you what you need, cry for him. Cry in front of him and beg him and continue to beg him until he grants you what you are asking for. Know that Allah is very generous. The Prophet ﷺ says that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, مَن تَقَرَّبَ إِلَيَّ شِبْرًا تَقَرَّبْتُ إِلَيْهِ ذِرَاعًا وَمَن تَقَرَّبَ إِلَيَّ ذِرَاعًا تَقَرَّبْتُ إِلَيْهِ ذِرَاعًا وَمَن أَتَانِي يَمْشِي أَتَيْتُهُ هَرْوًا That if you come to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala a shibr is hand, hand span then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will come towards you an arm span and if you come towards Allah azawajal an arm span Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will come towards you uh, ba'an which is this much and if you walk towards Allah, Allah Azza wa Jal will run towards you, will jog towards you. So you're dealing with Allah Azza wa Jal, the most generous, subhanahu wa ta'ala. If he sees in your heart that you really want to pray these five daily prayers, you don't want to mess around with these five daily prayers, you really want to pray them on time, and you're asking him, and you're coming close to him, Allah Azza wa Jal will come even closer to you, and he will make it easier and easier for you. The final thing that I would like to mention is the importance of good company. And this is for our young brothers and sisters. If all of your friends don't pray, I wouldn't be surprised that you do not pray. Allah says to his Prophet وسلم, نفسك, Be patient. Be patient and perseverant with those who pray to their Lord in the morning and in the evening. They mention Allah in the morning and in the evening. Mujahid, the great Mufassir, interpreter of the Qur'an, he said that these are the people who pray. Make dua to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that he helps you. Make dua to Allah azawajal that he assists you. And I ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to make praying these five daily prayers very easy for you. I ask Allah azawajal to make these five daily prayers uh, dear to you. And I ask Allah Azza wa to make them a source of comfort for you, as the Prophet ﷺ used to say, Arihna biha ya Bilal, O Bilal, give us comfort with these five daily prayers. I ask Allah Azza wa to make it a comfort for your eye, as the Prophet ﷺ used to say, that ju'ilat qurratu aini fi salat. Ask Allah Azza wa for his forgiveness, for indeed Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the most forgiving. Whatever good we said in this talk, it was from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And whatever wrong that was said in this talk, it is merely from myself and from shaitan. And I ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to forgive me for them. Jazakum Allah khairan. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.